Hi, this is Ferris J, and this is a quick tapping video to help you if you have an elderly pet, especially an elderly dog. I'm making this tapping video in, in response to one of my own issues. This is my lovely Sally dog here, and I now have her part-time. She spends part-time with my ex-partner, and she's 17 years old, so she really is quite a senior. And I've noticed she's been visiting with me for a few days, some changes in personality. And you, you can see this when your dog gets older. But what I've experienced is changes in her usual pattern. She's a bit more restless. She'll get down and wander about and just want to get back up on the sofa. And another trait that she... Um, she keeps thinking it's dinner time. She's been fed and then she's hopeful it's dinner time again. Same with breakfast and dinner. And it can be quite a challenge for us as owners as we see our dogs show these signs of aging, even these cognitive changes. And I have been doing EFT tapping, so I wanted to just share with you the type of tapping that I have been doing to help me and to help her at those times when her behavior is out of ordinary. So for example, I can tell when she's about to bark, when she's gonna bark for a dinner. Now, I know it's not proper dinner time, but I can, I can just sense that she's sort of forgotten and she wouldn't usually have barked for dinner anyway. So when I can feel that happen, I could feel myself get more tense and it, it's, it is disturbing when it's not their usual pattern. So the first thing I would do is do the EFT tapping for myself. Now, I do have an introduction to EFT elsewhere. You can find that. But it's so simple, you can do it along with me. If, if this is an issue for you and your pet, you tune into your pet's issue and just do the tapping along with me. So I'm going to go really, really quickly, just two very quick tapping rounds. First, I would tap for myself because I would feel that tension in myself. So say she had just barked, I would rate my intensity of tension and say that's a five. So you, you can do a setup for that. You can say, even though I know she's barking and this isn't her usual habit and I feel stressed. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And we do it three times. Even though I'm really stressed with her barking in this way and I'm concerned for her, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And then you do it one more time. Even though I feel the stress in my body when she's barking like that, I'm willing to forgive myself. And then we can just go and do around this stress, this tension whenever she barks. It makes me feel so tense. And it really upsets me. All this tension, all this upset. It's hard to hear her barking like that for no real reason. I'm finding it hard to deal with. Okay, so take a breath. So that's one simple round. I would normally do three or four rounds till I really feel that tension dissipate. And, and here's a clue as well, or a little trick. You can tap on the edges of your fingers because she gets unsettled if I work on the computer. And if she's getting, I can feel her again about to bark, I will do that kind of tapping. I'm now going to show you the second type of tapping. So when I've tapped for, for me and I'm not feeling stressed or anxious or upset about it, even upset for her, I can then go tap for her because sometimes you feel that she might be a little stressed with it, I'm not sure, but I'm going to tap for her. So here is how I would do that. The setup is a bit different. I'd say, even though you're barking for your dinner and it's not the right time, or if she was and if she was pacing, even though you're pacing and it's not your usual habit, you're still a really good girl. So that's the kind of setup I would do. And then for the tapping, I just say, it's okay, I'd be really soothing. You're a really good girl, it's all right, 
everything's fine and I would even tell her you know it's not dinner time it's okay just relax and just do a couple of rounds of tapping like that just experiment for yourself and obviously if your dog is acting differently from normal or could be unwell or have some symptoms always check with a veterinary consultant. This EFT tapping is an addition to veterinary care, not a substitute for it. But I just wanted to share how I'm doing this tapping in, in the hope that it can help you if you're in a similar situation. So I'd encourage you to try the tapping. I link to more resources that I have to help you tap for your pet. Thank you very much for watching. If you've liked this video, you can leave me a comment underneath and let me know. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more or subscribe to my free video series showing how to do EFT tapping to help your pets to heal. Thank you very much. I've been Ferris J and this has been the most glorious Sally the dog. Bye bye.